Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. Today is iPhone day and I wanted to do something really special for this video. So be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you have yet to. It really helps out for the YouTube algorithm, but essentially we're going to be doing a scratch test today putting Apple's quote ceramic shield to the test. For those of you who don't know, when Apple unveiled the iPhone 12 models, they claimed that they came with ceramic shield technology. And you might be wondering, well, what the heck is ceramic shield? Now I could explain it to you, but I figured let's actually let Kyan Drance, VP of iPhone marketing at Apple do that job. She actually appeared recently on the podcast, Rich on Tech, so here you go. This is the biggest leap in durability we've ever had for iPhone. So what is it? So it's called Ceramic Shield and it's here on the front of all the iPhone models this year. And what it does, it's actually not even glass. It goes beyond glass. It's a new material and it infuses nano ceramic crystals into it. And that makes it incredibly strong, but also it's optically transparent, which is fantastic to protect your display. And when we talk about the 4X Better Drop performance, that includes the benefit of Ceramic Shield, plus this new design with the beautiful flat edges. <laughs> All right, so that sounds like a lot of techno babble. Does it actually translate to improvements in durability when it comes to scratching the device? Because Apple's remaining very vague around that subject. They do claim 4X better improvement when it comes to dropping it, but they're claiming that this isn't even glass and that it's essentially embedded with ceramic. I mean, I don't know, I'm not really buying it so much. So I actually bought a Mohs scratch test, shout out to Jerry Rig Everything, and in this video, we're going to be doing exactly that. So after getting the iPhone out of the box, we're going to be slapping some tape on this guy and numbering it two through nine. For those of you who don't know, the Mohs hardness scale is essentially a scale rating ranging from one to 10, graduating in 0.5 increments. Now talc is the softest at one, while diamond is the hardest at 10. So we don't have one or 10, but we have two through nine because that's really the only range that makes sense. Now, between two to three is where your plastics are gonna start scratching and six to seven is usually where tempered glass starts scratching. Now, if we actually go back and look at last year's iPhone 11 series, the iPhone 11 started scratching at a level six with deeper grooves at a level seven, pretty normal. Again, shout out to Jerry Rig Everything. Check out that video, I'll have it linked down below in the description. We're gonna do that exact same thing here, now, today, in this video. So grabbing up pick number two, starting off, and remember these are double-sided, so here in the video you'll just see me switch each one over to the other side. Again, we're doing the numbers that correspond to the piece of tape here, and there we go, you can actually hear it right there. I don't know what else to do. This actually scratches deep at level eight. So unlike last year's where it started scratching at seven with deeper grooves at level eight, it appears the flip this time where it starts scratching at level eight with deeper grooves at nine. And you might've noticed that this year it's a little bit different. It doesn't actually start really scratching. It doesn't show those fine scratches. It actually just starts with a pretty deep groove if I'm being quite frank. I mean, I was applying relatively little pressure through all of these up until the ninth. Once I saw that scratch happen at level eight, I eased up a bit on level nine. I wanted to make sure that I did get something in there for you guys though, so it is actually scratched. And I also did notice very, very, very fine, I would call them micro scratches at level seven. Not quite what we see in Jerry Rig Everything's video where we actually have scratches at level seven, so that's why I didn't really mention that it scratched at seven because again, they're very minimal and I doubt you'd even really be able to pick it up. I was only able to do so after heavily examining it post recording. It doesn't even pick it up when I shoot on 4K only when I really look at it close up so it's not gonna appear on camera. Again, you probably wouldn't even notice it using it day to day. So it seems like we're only really getting a minor improvement here. If the last generation started scratching at seven and now we're not really scratching until level eight, but we do have micro scratches still at level seven, I would say the hardness of this, since Mohs hardness scale increases in increments of 0.5, would actually be something like a 7.5. 
This is a very minor improvement in my opinion and not really worthy of the marketing that Apple is throwing behind it. It's not necessarily a huge quantum leap over the previous generation. Yeah, it might help a little bit, but I would definitely still recommend a screen protector and obviously even a case because I can only imagine that this thing is still going to fare relatively similar to the previous generation when it comes to drop tests as well, i.e. again, you still need a case. This thing is going to crack its glass after all, even though Apple's claiming, quote, not even glass. It really is. It's glass, guys, so it's going to crack. Now, the exact same thing happened on the back side. I ran through that while I was talking here, but essentially, we have the same results here, even though the VP of iPhone marketing claims that it's on the front and doesn't specify whether it's on the back. We have the same results during my test. Again, it really starts scratching at eight, deeper grooves at level nine, but we do have those really small micro or minor scratches appearing at that level seven that you really need to look close up to be able to see. So guys, I hope this video helped you out. I hope it answered the question as to whether this is more durable than the previous generation. Again, not really, just slightly. And uh, yeah, subscribe for more great iPhone coverage. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.